Welcome back, Carbo Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? I got my new Ravnica Clue Edition. Uh, they kind of advertised it like it was going to be a Clue board game, but with, uh, you know, magic kind of card-based kind of, you know, playthrough with it. But it is definitely not. It is definitely just a Magic the Gathering product um, with unique Clue spin on the Magic the Gathering. Uh, it's It's... Basically kind of jump start, but with some special rules kind of deal from the looks of it. I uh, like the commander party that they just did. And I know at least the players at our store really didn't think it was uh, really that that well done. It was a little it was a little goofy the way they did it. Um, the Ixalan one was really cool the way it was kind of like working your way through a dungeon to get a reward. But this one, it was it was just uh, a little goofy. But we're going to bring it here and see what is in the box. Uh, finally got some that we could open for the store. So we're going to open some for ourselves so we can have the singles. Because there is some unique cards in here. Let's see what we get in here. Uh, that's a pretty cool little box. I don't know if it's set up or fitting the cards very well. But we'll see. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. All right, so here's our eight packs, looks like. Uh, from my understanding, they're basically like uh, Carlisle Manor uh, jumpstart packs, basically. Uh, what do we got in here? Oh, these must be the dividers. Oh, this does kind of look like a pretty cool little box. Oh, got dividers here. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh. Cards down, cards down. Suspects, weapons, and rooms. Yeah, maybe it is kind of set up a little bit like Clue. Let's see. What do we got? All right. Yeah, as usual, it looks like it's going to be cool, but it's Wizard of the Coast, so it's not built like it should be. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, all right. It had potential. What do we got in here? Confidential. Oh, there's our box topper. That's what we're waiting to see, probably. And here's our clue edition little. Oh, I guess these are just like little dungeon master things to keep your stuff secret from everybody else. So there's that. Okay. So there's four of those. And here's your little clue suspects cards. Okay, I mean, it kind of set up like Clue, it just doesn't have the board. Yes. Here's your breakdowns. Oops, it's upside down. <laughs> uh, nothing but the most professional work for me here. All right, so here's your rules and how to play and the objectives and all that. Okay, interesting. It looks like it might be fun. Let's try it. We'll see what happens. This weekend we're doing the Clue Edition event at the store. We'll have to see what happens. These look like our 21 unique cards that come with each one, I believe. Let's break it open. See what's in here. So these should be the unique to the Clue game magic cards. We got wrench, candlestick, of course, lead pipe. Knife, rope, ballroom, oh, these are, huh. dual lands, enter the Valkyrie tap, but you can investigate, interesting, billiard room, conservatory, dining room, hall, kitchen, library, lounge, secret passage, study, apothecary white, senator peacock, yeah, let's kind of read these real quick. Uh, when you attack, create a food token for each player being attacked. Yeah, that'll be decent, Commander. And Vigilance. Tap X, untap food you control. Create X, 1, 1, white human creature tokens. Senator Peacock. Artifacts you control are clues in addition to their other types and have sacrificed this artifact. Draw a card. Uh, whenever you sacrifice a clue target, creature can't be blocked this turn. Interesting. Mastermind Plum, uh, black. 
Whenever a master man plumb attacks, exile up to one target card from a graveyard. If an artifact card was exiled this way, create a treasure token. That could be powerful. Whenever you cast a spell, if mana from a treasure was spent to cast it, you draw a card, you lose a life. That might fit my commander deck pretty well. <laughs> uh, Headliner Scarlet. Haste. Whenever Headliner Scarlet enters the battlefield, creatures target player controls can't block this turn. Beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library face down. You may look at that and play that card this turn. Another one good for my commander deck. Uh, I run Prosper Tonebound, so those would both be good. Emissary Green, whenever you attack, starting with you, each player votes for profit or security. Create a number of treasure tokens equal to twice the number of profit votes. Put a number of 1-1 counters on each creature you control equal to the number of security votes. And then Commander Mustard. <laughs> Interesting. Vigilance, other soldiers you control have Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. Till end of turn, soldiers you control gain. Whenever this creature attacks, it deals one damage to the defending player. Okay. Very interesting. All right. Let's open the clue packs and see how these look. If we can. They got pull tabs on them? What's going on here? Uh, is there pull tabs? I don't see any pull tabs, but you know, like really are moving. Here. All right. Oh, oh. Selesnia Conclave. Jumpstart boxes aren't selling. How can we sell jumpstart packs for this set? Yeah, let's just make it a clue game. Well, they do have the clue emblem on them. Doom Trailer, Horse, Creature, Guild Mage, Seller, Rumblers, Uber's Protector, God Willing, Reborn Defensive, Conclave Tribunal, Thriving Lands are in here. Okay, Conclave Evangelist. Tristani Discordant for a mythic in there, and then some basics. Okay. Yep. This is uh, this set's version of the Jumpstart pack, though. Let's it. Simic Combine. What do we got? Every Crawler, Creeper, Sentinel, Denizen, Berserk, Scuttle Gator, Incubation Incongruity, Snake Form, This is Judgment. Thriving land again. Oh, Simic growth chambers in there. That's cool. Luna's genetics expert. Hey, hydroid crisis. Wow. That's uh that's not a bad little hit there. Alright. Back up to Mythic again. <laughs> Wasn't that a little rare in like Ravnica remaster remastered? Now it's back up to Mythic one set later. Very interesting. Ah oh, ah oh, ah. Oh, same one. Does it have the same cards? Hopefully there's a little bit of variant. There's going to be plastic everywhere. Uh, Savant, Adept, Sentinel, yeah, Eel. Okay, so there is a variant to it. That's not the same cards. So you give it this in there. Unruly Crisis and Master Biomancer. Okay. So just because you get the same pack doesn't mean you get the same cards. Very interesting. I thought they were supposed to be single-colored packs, not two-color packs. So... Kind of wild, but they are guild packs. Okay. Boros Legion. Inspector. Recruit. Stalwart. Charger. Patrol. Mentor. Integrity Intervention, because, you know, everybody really wanted to see split cards again. Mighty Leap. Boros Signet. Impetus again. Gilgate Garrison. Aegis of Legion. And Finale of Glory. So there is a rare and a mythic in each one. I don't look to it. At least so far, anyway. So this one, Golgari Swarm. Okay. Maverick Warrior. Harpooner. Gorgon. Tribune of Rot. Grassy Moss Dog. Status Statue. Wild Size. Rebirth. Impetus again. Guildgate, Rock Farm, Sludge Titan, Underrealm Lich. Okay. The quality of the cards feels pretty, pretty poor. In fact, uh, you can see uh, the edges are all like torn up and damaged, even though they're fresh out of the pack here. They, they just don't feel, they don't feel right. <laughs> um, they don't feel like they're made at the normal 
the normal manufacturers, they, they really just don't feel like magic cards, to be honest. They feel more like game cards. I wonder if they had the game division make these instead of the card division, because they, they, they really don't feel like magic cards, to be honest. They definitely feel different. Consider, hey, there we go. Repeal. Insight Snow Day. The boiler works. Resonance Technician. And Stunt Double. Oh, that one didn't have a mythic. It only had two rares. But the Is It League. All right, two more. This is a very interesting product. We'll have to see. Cult of Rectos. Yeah, here. Oh, the Fiend. Trumpeter. Swiftwing. Dire Claw Imp. Vindictive Vampire. Blade Juggler. There's some decent cards in here. Deadly Dispute. There's some really decent cards. Murder. Criminating Impetus. Uh, Thriving Land. The Guild Gate. And the Carnarium. Frenzied Gore Spawn. And a Spawn of Mayhem. So we got a Mythic, but it's bulky bulk. Alright. Last one. Another Simic Combine. Wow. Lots of Simic, Simic, is it, I don't know if they mean combine or combine, probably combine. Right, hybrid, crawler, creeper, sentinel, denizen, this looks like the first one, I think. Let's see if we get the, uh, crisis. Road chamber, expert, hydroid crisis, okay, so, that one is the same, so there's two different variants of each kill by the looks of it. Okay. Now, the thing we all came to see. Check out the new art on the shocks. The box topper shock lands. Oh god. Scary. Scary patch are scary. Wow, these don't open at all. Were they supposed to have pull tabs and they just forgot them? I don't think it's made in Japan. Um yeah, I don't want to damage the card, so I'm gonna do it like this. They should have made these a lot easier to open. All right, what do we get? Stumping ground. Okay. That's interesting. It's a living room. It's supposed to be a mountain forest, but it's in a living room. Makes perfect sense. It's a fireplace, I guess, for the mountain. Is there wood around there? I don't know. It's hard to tell with the foiling. <laughs> but there you go. There's your clue edition uh, stomping ground. It's already Pringled. Pringled as can be. And the quality of these cards is very, very poor. That's my my first impression is that the quality of these is really awful. And this is a not a cheap product. But we do get a lot of cards. I mean, you get the Shockland, the Foil Shockland box topper. You get 21 unique cards. Uh, there's a decent amount of cards in here. It's about, about the same as a bundle. And it's just a little bit more than a bundle. Uh, currently they're going for about 55 on, on TCG by the looks of it today. Uh, but we're still a few days out from release, so we'll see what happens with it. They were up to 70 at one point, but it looks like they're kind of down to 55 range, uh, for release. So we'll see what happens. Um, we'll have to try it with the clue, uh, rules here and see how well it plays. But obviously we can't do that in a video. We've already gone 13 minutes and it's, uh, just one little box opening so there you go let me know what you guys think in the comments below don't forget to check out the description below um uh, click some of those links let me know what you guys think of this product if you think it looks like fun or if you think it's just a, a money grab or it's just trying to trying to church up a um a jumpstart box let me know what you guys think thank you guys so much for your time we'll see you in the next one bye